Hi everybody, this is Noah Hughes, Creative Director on Tomb Raider, and we're here at Crystal Dynamics. We're going to take a look at um, a segment of the game that's going to showcase some of our combat and um, high action sequences. Um, so we can see Lara um, walking down these steps. She can overhear conversations um, from the enemies. She, you can see uh, as she becomes aware of the enemy presence, she'll take cover behind anything that looks like cover. So that's something that's automatic and we really promote the ability to freely move within cover and move throughout cover. So Lara's assessing the situation. She can overhear bits of story and understand more about what's going on, on the island. Um, but most importantly, she can sort of use brains as she approaches the situation. She'll take out one guy. And we can see that the enemies are reacting. So they're creating cover for themselves, reacting to her situation. Um, another guy's trying to flush her out of cover with the Molotovs. This is just an example where we really try to um, make the AI adapt to the situation, but also promote movement from, from the player so that they're not just um, stuck behind cover and, um, and playing sort of uh, pop and, and shoot cover games. Uh, we really promote that movement. Um, so we can see Lara approaching here. She's got her uh, a new gear element, the rope arrow. She's able to create her own zip line. Um, and, and with the shotgun and the zip line, she's now back to an area she had been before, but able to access oh spaces that she had never been able to get to. Are you there? I'm here, Sam. Are you okay? What do they want with me, Lara? A fire ritual? This is so fucked up. Listen, I'm coming to get you. I'm going to get you out of there. Please, please help me, Lara. I promise. I promise, Sam. Hey! We can see that Lara's friends, um, in particular Sam, is in trouble and she has a very clear goal now which is to make her way to uh, the scavenger fortress where Sam is being held. So um, she knows that's down at the bottom of the mountain and she's going to find a way down. I don't know. Another part of the plane? Keep working. I'll go check it out. Again, often the best strategy is um, to sort of assess the situation before you jump in with guns blazing. Of course, you're always welcome to just open fire. Um, but the game really promotes sort of that tactical approach in some situations. Um, so Lara is able to wait till she has a clear vantage of the situation without being spotted by the enemies. She sees an opportunity in the fire and she's able to open combat by really um, decimating the enemies with the environmental opportunities and then finishing off any stragglers. Now last time we showed this space uh, we took the left route and this is just an example of uh, a forked path where you can see them coming up the path that we would have come down naturally but because Lara is observant and she's taken advantage of her traversal in the environment she can get uh, the drop on these guys in a way that you may not if you weren't um, necessarily utilizing traversal to progress. Um, and keeping your eyes open for those opportunities. So again, uh, Lara using the barrels as part of the environment to sort of um, create chaos within the enemy AI and, and take advantage of that chaos. So again, Lara just not necessarily being all about um, the biggest firepower, but really trying to use a, a tactical approach to combat. As is often the case, <laughs> Lara's intended path down the mountain isn't necessarily um, where she ends up. So we could see um, a, an example of sort of a, a, a brutal death as Lara um, misnavigates this um, the situation in, in the flood here. Um, and we try to create these spikes of, of intense moments where maybe plan A doesn't pan out and Lara's forced to deal with plan B. Um, you can see her shooting out barriers with the shotgun. This is another example of um, us trying to use um, gear uh, acquisitions as something that provides um, new skills in the environment beyond just combat.
can see that Lara's been able to adapt to this turn of events and um, manage to find her way down the mountain. Um, but is a little bit worse for wear, having gone through a pretty traumatic descent. Um, so we see Lara sort of shaken from the experience. Um, and, and ultimately, um, this is really just awakening injuries that have started since the beginning of the game. You can see her side is already bleeding from experiences she had when she first washed up on the island. Um, and that's just been made worse by her tra traumatic descent. Um, and, and so we're sort of introduced to this new space. This is the, the scavenger town and, and up on the mountain you can see the, the ancient, pal ancient palace which has been fortified by the scavengers. And really that's where Lara thinks uh, Sam is being held. And so her goal, Sam and the others, so her goal is to really make her way into that palace. Um, but you can see that she's, she really is sort of um, feeling the effects of the fall. Um, and as she stumbles her way into this new space, um, we realize that Lara is, is I indeed worse for wear and has limited traversal capabilities. So you can't necessarily climb from roof to roof like you might if you were in uh, the best of health. So Lara is really forced to sort of with, with uh, in a position of vulnerability to sneak her way towards the, the medical chopper that she saw um, and hopefully find some supplies that are going to help her deal with her current situation. I don't know what you're talking about. Please. You are lying. I know you escaped for them. Please. I don't. <coughs> I don't. I need to lose them, your child. Tell me. No! So we can take a moment to overhear some of the, the story. That's always optional, but we try to infuse a lot of the environments with some of the backstory, and that's actually foreshadowing something uh, that will come up a, a little bit later in the story. So we make our, th our way through this grotesque tunnel, um, again, trying to get to this uh, medical chopper in hopes of, of dealing with our injuries, but really um, trying to take a cautious approach and stay away from these nasty scavengers. We're starting to sort of get into the heart of it. This is Lara's journey into the belly of the beast, so to speak, and we really see her sort of having to engage in um, direct conflict in ways that she hasn't up until this point in the game. So we can assess the situation. The guy on the top was a threat. Um, we see an, an opportunity with a barrel to soften up the the enemies here, but this is an example of a trap where I've stepped in the wrong place and ended up um, strung upside down. And that, that's an, uh, just trying to keep the player on edge. We have uh, the enemies, the scavengers, really having a presence on the island here, almost a, a, a guerrilla approach to to combat, where they um, sort of take take advantage of their of their home court. Um, so we see combat progress from sort of that opportunity to initiate with tactical opportunities, taking out patrolling guards and exploding barrels, but then ultimately um, sort of being forced to confront them directly in order to get to her goals. And um, that's something that Lara is constantly dealing with is um, this need to do whatever it takes to survive. And if these guys are presenting a threat to her, um, she's seen what they're capable of and they're standing between her and sort of her ability to, to deal with her wounds. Um, so we, we're making use of cover in combat. Again, this is the soft cover or fluid cover system that really allows Lara to easily f slide in and out of cover without really um, necessarily sticking in place and, and celebrating that, that ability for Lara as a character to make use of her athleticism and movement as she takes on uh, the combatants on the island. So with our piece of gear, our rope arrow, um, we've been able to um, pull our way into uh, the crass chopper here, which is where Lara hopes to find something to deal with her injuries.
All right, thanks everybody for uh, joining us today. Stay tuned, we'll have some, uh, some more things to show you down the road, but um, I hope you enjoyed our um, traversal down the mountain into Scavenger Hub today and um, some more glimpses into our combat systems. Pre-order Tomb Raider now and receive the GameStop exclusive Tomb of the Lost Adventurer, a new location for Laura to encounter new puzzles and challenges. You'll also receive the Shantytown multiplayer map where you and your friends can team up in this ramshackle area with steep cliffs and deadly traps. Plus, get access to the Tomb Raider scavenger hunt where you can unlock DLC and win great prizes such as a life-size Laura statue, an ATV, and a trip to Fiji. Pre-order Tomb Raider now. Rated M for Mature.